island and how I learned to adapt to it. In autumn of 2013, one month before my fifth birthday, I took my first violin lesson. It was not my decision. My parents decided for me, a little unfair. At first, I was excited. I began with a brand new cardboard box violin made from an old, stale, dry pasta box. Then, within a few weeks, I had my very own one-tenth size violin, but quickly it got very complicated. Learning to play the violin at such a young age is not easy. At least it was not for me. There are many pieces to put together. Perfectly straight posture, and with the feet in the correct place. Holding the violin on the shoulder and chin, but not with the hand. Uh, positioning the fingers properly to hold the bow. Having the right hand and thumb positioned exactly on the correct place. The left arm and elbow at the correct height. All of this has to be correct before even thinking of playing a single note. And this is not the complicated part. Then started the real music stuff. Learning to read notes, proper fingering, understanding rhythm, managing the bow movement, controlling dynamics, and much more. At ages five, six, and seven, it wasn't easy for me. It was really hard. It was diligent work. Practicing was a chore, and honestly, I didn't like it. I could even say I hated it, and it didn't even sound good. Have you ever heard cats crying? It sounded something like that. It took years before my sound was good, and I could play nice pieces like Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. It was not until I began adapting to the violin that I truly appreciated it. How did I adapt, you may ask? I would like to share three simple techniques I used to adapt to the violin. First, I changed my mindset. I focused on the positives instead of the negatives. I looked at the glass half full instead of half empty. My goal is not to become a professional violinist. It I would have been easy to just quit. Of course, my parents would have not been happy with my decision. Yet, if I continued playing, I would grow in skills that would help me in the future. I began analyzing the advantages. Discipline, concentration, focus, versus the disadvantages of not liking to practice and it being too difficult. After all, anything new always has its hard parts. Looking at the bigger picture, I realized that the advantages were much greater than the disadvantages. I had more to gain than to lose. Second, I decided to have fun. Yes, practicing, I hated. Sorry, sorry, I didn't, I mean, I didn't like it. I recognized that playing for others and with others, I did like. I could have made practicing enjoyable by understanding the direct, my purpose of all the hard work I had done. Thanks to my parents and teacher, we all created opportunities for me to play for others and have had fun. I played for the wedding of my first art teacher. I played Beethoven's Old to Joy and Vivaldi's Spring with my two friends as a trio. The most fun of all was playing a quartet, Star Wars theme song, with the bows lit up like lightsabers. I could make the violin fun by making small changes, minimizing my likes, and working through my dislikes. About three years ago, I watched a documentary about children in Paraguay. These impoverished children live in a landfill community. The livelihood of their parents depends on manually pulling out items from the landfill to be recycled. As you can imagine, these kids did not have the best life. 
One day, an environmentalist thought that music could make their lives better. He became their music teacher, but there was one problem. There were no instruments. A simple violin could cost them more than their house. With the help of the entire community, they began making instruments from trash for the children to use. Though, these children worked extremely hard to have the opportunity to learn music, and they were at their happiest when playing with their trash instruments. This trash could have been my trash, your trash, and our trash. They got so good, they created their own orchestra. This documentary is called Land Philharmonic, and I recommend you watch it. With this said, this brings me to my third tip. Not many kids have the time and resources and opportunities to learn a musical instrument, so you should be grateful. The kids in the landfill had nothing other than trash, but thanks to perseverance, dedication, and creativity, they were able to make beautiful music. None of my hard work with the violin could compare to theirs. I had the instrument and opportunity handed to me, and for this, I am grateful. When it, when it was time for my full-size violin, we went to a fancy music shop full of new violins, and I got the one I liked best. My violin was beautiful with wood, but the children in the Lamfield's violins were from metal scraps and forks. How could I have not been thankful? I also greatly appreciate my amazing violin teacher, Miss Chris Handler. She is kind, gentle, patient, and understanding. For over six years, she has supported me in every way. She explains concepts so that I fully understand. She takes the time to give me extra lessons when I need them the most. She inspires me to keep going just when I think I will not get it. I'm happy that I can continue online lessons with her, even though we are millions of miles apart. These three tips, changing my mindset, deciding to have fun, and being thankful, have greatly helped me adapt to playing the violin, so that I can continue learning, growing, and playing. As you can see, these three simple techniques can be used in any situation. We all have many changes in our lives, and learning to adapt can make them easier and better. As kids, many of the changes are out of our control. For example, in a few years, many of us will be leaving Beijing. That will be a big change. If we change our mindset to look at the positive of the new city, find ways to enjoy and have fun in the new location, and be thankful for the opportunities a new place can offer, we will be much closer to adapting and growing. My advice to you all is to try something new. Don't be afraid of change. If you think you're going to quit, especially when things get complicated, try adapting. You never know what all you will gain and how you will gain growing from a new challenge or opportunity. Thank you.